Ackerman here. In this tutorial, I'm briefly going to go over the different extensions that Joomla has to offer. Then, in future tutorials, I will build upon this, showing you in depth what each extension type does. So, I'm in my um, administrative area right now for Joomla, and I'm going to put my mouse over the extensions tab. You will see that we have an install uninstall option available right here. In the past, I showed you how to install templates. This is where you also can install your extensions. So you can go ahead and just download your extensions and upload them right here. Now I'll back up for a second and explain exactly what extensions are. Basically, extensions add to your website. There's three different types of extensions. There's components, modules, and plugins. Each of which are important, but different. They act differently in how they um, are put onto your website. Components are more like standalone, almost like applications, I would almost call it that. They um, could be anything from video galleries to community aspects to forums. They're very much standalone and you nine times out of 10, you can link them to them specifically from your menu. Modules are more like additional add-ons you put onto your website, like menus, banners, polls, login forms, stuff like that. Plugins are more like things that run in the background. Like maybe you want to install a plugin that allows you to embed videos easier. It's not so much you would link to, or it's not so much something you would show, as it more is to kind of help your site along. Although some plugins are more visual than others, depending on what you get. Now, there are default plugins available for Joomla. However, if you go to extensions.joomla.org, you can download a plethora of different extensions. Now, some of these are paid, but most of them are free, and they, that is dictated in the descriptions of the um, extensions. However, I just want to briefly show you that when you're downloading these extensions, to keep an eye out for the little icons right here. Each of them show which each extension is. For instance, the M is a module, P is a plugin, and C, of course, is a component. Not that this really matters, but you know, they will install the same. But again, if you're looking for something specific, you should you know keep in mind what each is. So plugins are more background, modules are more like little extensions onto your website, components are more like standalone extensions. In the future tutorials, I will cover each of these type of extensions in depth, explaining how to use them and kind of get you started on getting used to them. But this tutorial is just to briefly explain what each does and how to install them. So with that, I think my work here is done. I will see you guys next time.